It's our friend the hummingbird. He's doing his work. Hummingbirds are some amazing creatures. They definitely are uh, the most fascinating bird to me. Owls definitely come in there, but I uh, wonder if I can get any closer. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. They're used to me by now, but I can only go so far. Huh. He's checking me out. It's like, what, dude? Hey. Oh. That's a, uh, sage plant here. This is a salvia plant. And, uh, we bought a few of these this year. And they've turned out to be the most amazing plants that I've had. They're just epic. Um, they call in so many bees and, and birds. It's just awesome. Well, I mean, so many hummingbirds anyway. And uh, especially the bumblebees, you know, really seem to like it. But it never fails to amaze me how flowers work with uh, the structure of the flower. Every flower is designed in its own way. And the bees actually see in ultraviolet, not in standard color like we do. So when the bees see a flower, they don't see the colors we see, which has always amazed me, showing that flowers are colorful for animals, not just for insects or bees to see it. In other words, a flower isn't bright red to call a bee in. It is the ultraviolet uh, colors that they see, which may be a totally different type of pattern on the flower. And if you look really close, I'll show you, I'd like to see well, I probably won't be able to catch a bee actually doing this, so I'll just show you. Right here on this flower, I'll try to focus in my screen here. Um, each flower, the bee can land on this little pad. Right here above the flower is this other little part of it, which has these two little hooks, I guess they are. And when a bee, when the, when a bee lands on here, and his back hits the hook, boom, it pops the hook out of its little home, sprinkles him with pollen, and then he carries it on to the next one. Um, it's a very simple and overlooked thing with many flowers. Most flowers have some sort of a, you know, a way of sharing their pollen. Some of them have really deep holes, uh, really deep, it's really deep in there, so obviously you have to have certain types of beaks or, you know, what not to get the nectar. So anyway, it's that symbiosis relationship of insects and animals to plants. It's a beautiful thing. And these other flowers I have over here are really cool too. These were some bulbs I just picked up randomly. But these are, uh, I can't remember what they're called, the star or something. Yeah. Anyway. They're really beautiful. Beautiful bulbs. First clouds we've had in a while. Chance of thunderstorms. Gonna go camping tonight and uh, it should be epic, so. Some honeysuckle, which is also another favorite. No jasmine today, 